Now, if you watched the previous training video on slide transitions, meaning that you can animate your slides going from one slide to the next, whether it dissolves, fades in, or wipes, you also have custom animation effects on the uh, actual text or objects within the slide. For example, let's say Dreamforce. I'm going to click in the text box to activate that box so I can go ahead and add some animation to the text within the box. Once I clicked inside of it, I'm going to come up here and click on the Animations tab. And then in the Animations group, I can say I want to animate. Right now, it's defaulted to No. When I click on the drop-down arrow, watch what happens when I select Fade. Dreamforce fades in, or it wipes in, or it flies in. And if you don't like the way it's flying in, maybe from the bottom, you want it from the top, the right, you can go down and select Custom Animation, which is just the same as coming here and clicking on Custom Animation there. Brings up the task pane over to the right, and then the first thing you want to do is click on the effect. I want to add an effect. I want it when it comes in on entrance. I want it to come in with blinds, box. Now, it doesn't give us the preview, at least not right here. Or I can do an emphasis where it just uh, grows and it shrinks or it spins when I'm in this slide. I can also uh, have it exit out, so it just exit out to the right, uh, flies out to the left. Or motion paths, meaning like I'm going to go ahead and click and draw and select a motion path that have the text that will come from left to right. Of course, I don't know if you want to do this with text. You could, but objects like, for example, you see that little squiggly line? You can create a curve so the object comes in like, woo, like this. In any case, when I keep it simple, come to our entrance here and then go down to more effects because there's more than just the five effects we see here. I'm going to click and drag the uh, title bar of this little screen here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on box and see what it looks like. It boxes in, it circles in. How about uh, expand? Ah, that's not too bad. Or how about just fade in? Actually, I like fade in. It's more ghostly. It's more like dream force. You're dreaming. I don't have to preview the effect. I can uncheck that, but hey, I like it. Don't forget you can click and drag your scrolly bar, your vertical scroll bar, and come down here and choose a few more options. Boomerang. You do this too many times. Once is probably more than enough. You're going to get the audience sick. At least you probably will me because I will get up and leave if there's too much of this. How about credits? Man, that took forever for the credit to come in. Look, it just keeps scrolling up. We like to thank uh, Dreamforce and then, you know, Coca-Cola or whatever. Again, that's not going to work for me. I really like the fade effect, and I'm going to select it and click OK. Once you select it and click OK, you can just go with it. But if you want to make a few tweaks, then you want to come over here to the task pane and say, well, what's my speed for this effect? You can see that little mouse button here that when I click the mouse button, when I'm in this slide here, I mean, obviously, when I start my slideshow, the first slide is going to be slide one. Dreamforce isn't going to be there. I'm actually going to have to click my mouse button, and on the first click, this is going to appear in. If I had other text and I want to add animation, like let's say to this uh, text box here, and we're going to go over this more in depth here, but I want to give you a little something more to chew on here before we go to level two, where we really hit the animations more in depth. There's the first effect. When I click in this text box, I want to apply another effect, so I can click on Effect, Emphasis, Let's have it grow shrink. Uh, the leader in paranormal research. Okay, pretty annoying, but nonetheless. Now I have the order of operation. When I come to this slide first, nothing's going to be there. It's only going to appear when I click my first click. The title Dreamforce LLC, this one down below, it's number one, is going to come in first. It's going to appear in first. And then when I click the mouse button the second time, then the leader in paranormal research is going to grow and shrink just right before my eyes. You can preview it by coming down here in the task pane and clicking on play. Okay, so that's all right. You can reorder this here. I mean, you can select the one that you want to be first on the first mouse click, and then just hit the up button so it moves it to the top. It moves it in the number one position. Of course, you can also hit the down so it's back in the number two position. Or you can click and drag. Just go ahead and click number two and push it so you can see that little thin line right up above number one. When you see that, let go, and it drops it right into place. It gives you a few other customizations based upon what animation you selected. For example, the grow shrink. Do I want to have it grow to 150% of the normal text, or do I want to go ahead and make it smaller, do a custom of 200%? I mean, you can really nauseate your audience here. Like I said, we're going to cover this more in depth in level two here, but it should be enough to get you started if you want it to fly in or zoom in or dissolve in, whatever animation you've selected. If you want to get rid of an animation, it's pretty simple. If I select number two, I can come over here and it's selected here. Just go ahead and click on it and hit the delete key. It gets rid of it. Of course, I can undo that to bring it back because I want to show you what it looks like during the actual slideshow. So to get started, I'm going to come down here and click on the slideshow button. I'm going to go to slide two. I'm going to click on the slideshow button. 
Anytime you click on that button down on the window frame at the base, it automatically goes to the slide that you selected in the design view. So if I want to go back to slide one, I mean, you could hit the escape key on the keyboard and then come back here and then, you know, go to slide one and then hit the slide show view. Or the shortcut is, is that you can select any slide, but when you hit F5, it always starts in the beginning here, okay? So my mistake, it looks like the text is there, but when I click on it, that's when it applies the animation, the leader in paranormal research. And then I go ahead and make my next click, and then Dreamforce fades in. Boy, that grow shrink doesn't work for me. It just pops right in there. It stays in there, doesn't it? So I click and I go to the next slide. I'm going to hit escape, go back to slide one, click on it, and there we go. Now you know how at least to add animation to your text, your objects. Just think of it the same way when it comes to objects or images. You can come down here, and on slide six, I can have my ghost fly in from left to right. It's the same thing. I mean, I'm still here on the animations tab, and then I can just go ahead and custom animations is still up. So I selected this, and I can go ahead and add an effect, entrance, fly in, woo. Anyway, it's pretty cool. If I want to change this to something else, that's okay. For example, if I click off on the home tab and I close out of my custom animations task pane, Again, all you need to do to bring it back up is just come over here, click on the Animations tab, click on Custom Animation, and then it automatically numbers the text boxes, images, whatever on that slide has animation tied to it. And then you just need to select what's animated and then come over here and make your changes. Like I said, this should be enough to get you started, but cover that in level two. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.